Hi, hello, my name is Gomer Joseph. I hope you've all been having a great day so far. Welcome back to another True Crime Tuesdays video. If you are new, I welcome you. Today, I'll be discussing the unsolved disappearance of DeAndrea Ford. Her case is extremely troubling and frustrating. It seems like DeAndrea will get justice, but on the other hand, her family has no way of finding out exactly where she is. Now, I encourage you all to do your own research with this case and not just look at my video for all of the information. Here we go. DeAndrea Ford was born on October 24th in 2001, and I looked all over and I just really couldn't find the name of DeAndrea's parents. I do know that she had a brother and two sisters, but she did live with her grandmother, Bridget, before she went missing. From what I gathered, um, DeAndrea was known to be a person with a warm smile. She was known to be caring. She enjoyed doing TikToks and became a mother of a son when she was 17 years old. On September 22nd of 2003, DeAndrea is 21 years old at this point and she's living in Houston, Texas. Now, around this time, she began working at this, pretty much at this bar where she worked as a dancer. And after she left work, she was able to go ahead and get a ride with this man who drove in a white Ford Transit van. Now what I'm saying, I'm not I'm definitely not trying to go ahead and blame DeAndrea for, you know, what occurs next. Like pretty much um she was just known to really take rides from like anyone, whether it be a family, a friend, or maybe even a stranger. And, you know, she really never had any issues with getting rides from strangers, which is why she continued to, you know, get rides from strangers. But unfortunately, the individual who would give her a ride took advantage of how trusting DeAndrea was. And unfortunately, after DeAndrea stepped inside of that white van, she was never seen again. The next day, DeAndrea's family tried to reach her, but she just wasn't responding back and they knew this was not like her especially when she would constantly try to keep in contact with her son who was four years old at the time since deandrea wasn't you know contacting her family back they reported her missing soon enough the police would get involved and they would pretty much dig into deandrea's past i'm not sure exactly what year this was but i know that deandrea was pretty much a witness to a crime 36-year-old Otis Parker's life was taken. She saw this happen, and the person who took, you know, Otis's life, his name was Jarrell Wheeler, and he was being charged for it. According to court documents, DeAndre was pretty much being threatened for being a witness. So when the police gathers this information, they wonder if her witnessing this crime had something to do with her disappearance, which I can, you know, definitely understand. Like, you know, you have this woman who is pretty much a witness to a crime and people don't want to go ahead and pay for it. And I can understand that, you know, people would assume that, you know, she just unexpectedly goes missing when people want her to go missing. But her family was adamant that that was not the case. They were adamant that her going missing and her witnessing the crime had nothing to do with one another, which I definitely understand because DeAndrea, like she, you know, what she willingly went into a car with this person. And I'm pretty sure if, you know, if it was the car of somebody who threatened her, I'm pretty sure that she was, you know, had enough common sense not to go inside if she felt like her life was in danger. Eventually, the van that she was seen, you know, because there was a surveillance camera footage when she went inside the van. So the van that she was seen getting inside of was found. Looking inside the van, they found two phones. They found DeAndrea's clothes and bloodstains were also found inside. In January of this year, 2024, Yolande Washington was arrested and charged for making DeAndrea disappear. But... Not only was he charged for making DeAndrea vanish, he was charged for taking her life. The thing about Washington is that he had this history of pretty much attacking other women and as to why he was allowed to just walk the street when he has this pretty much violent history, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Even though Washington is being charged for DeAndrea's disappearance and being charged for taking her life, 
DeAndre's body has still not been found. Now, if you're watching this video and you have any information at all, please be a snitch. Call 911 or call Crime Stoppers. His number is 713-222-8477. Washington robbed DeAndrea of celebrating her 23rd birthday this year. This monster robbed her son of a mother and I do pray that Washington would repent of his sins and trust in Jesus Christ alone to save him so that he just be convicted enough to tell DeAndrea's loved ones where she is because if he does not get right with God then he will be punished for what he did to DeAndrea for all of eternity. I do pray that God would be with DeAndrea's loved ones. I can only imagine that this past year has been truly difficult without her. Of course, I do pray that God would provide our family with the exact location of where she is so that they could have some sort of closure. I thank you all for taking the time in your day to watch this video. If you did like this video, please feel free to hit the like button. If you have any thoughts on this case at all, please feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more videos from me, please feel free to subscribe and click the bell to be notified about the next video. If there is a certain true come case that you would like me to cover, go ahead and let me know. I will see y'all for next true come Tuesdays and I will talk to y'all later.